I know you don't like it, but it's really important because you have to poop. Exactly. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. So in case you're wondering what we're gonna be talking about today, it is something called pasty butt, and it happens to chicks. It's very common, but they can actually die from it. So we are gonna talk about how you can get rid of it. It's very easy, and that is coming up. But first I wanna let you know, I'm in my basement today <laughs> because this is where the chicks are. So that's my elliptical right there. <laughs> uh, and the lighting isn't really good down here, so forgive me. So last week I went out and I picked out three new baby chicks. This is hopefully a little silky. And then I have another little silky girl, hopefully and a little show girl. I'm really hoping one of these is a little silky girl so that I can keep it. Cause you know, if you don't have a silky, it's not really a flock. <laughs> okay, she's getting upset, so I'm gonna put her back. So, so far these baby chicks have been really healthy. I started them on fermented feed and they started eating it around the second day. It usually takes a little while for them to figure out it's delicious, but they figured that out by now. They have just been so healthy and thriving. I only had one problem so far and that was the first day that I got them. One of them had a itty bitty bit of pasty butt. And I'm gonna show you right now what I did to handle that. It's super easy, but it's really important. So to handle pasty butt in your chicks, you will need a blow dryer, a paper towel, or a soft cloth. And this is optional, it is rescue remedy. It just helps to keep them calm because this is a stressful experience for them. And of course you're going to need some warm water, not hot water, but warm water. Pasty butt is a collection of fecal matter over a chick's vent and it can make it to where they can't poop. So you'll see this is not a very serious case of pasty butt, but it could get worse. So we're going to go ahead and treat it. And I'm gonna start out by just putting a drop of Rescue Remedy on her back and rubbing it in. That's gonna help her stay calm through this whole ordeal. And now I'm going to get my paper towel and I'm going to dip it in the warm water and just rub her with it until the fecal matter loosens up. And I'm definitely not gonna be pulling this off without really breaking it apart. Otherwise you can really hurt them. So here I'm just kind of breaking it apart so I can gently get it off. And you can also run them under warm water. This was a very mild case, so I just worked it off with the paper towel. Now, if she was really wet, I would turn on this hair blow dryer. It's actually not turned on right now. I just dried her off really well with the paper towel and now I'm putting her right back under the brooder because she was barely wet at all. But if she was wet and you had run her under the water, you really wanna make sure to dry her off really well on your blow dryer's lowest setting. Pasty butt happens mostly with baby chicks that have been shipped through the mail. And that's because stress is a big cause of this condition. It can also happen if other stressful things happen to them after they hatch. It can happen if there's not the right temperature in their brooder, they're either too hot or they're too cold, or it can happen if they're not getting the right nutrition or if they're sick in some way. One very interesting fact is that baby chicks raised by a mother hen are a lot less likely to get pasty butt. And that's because they're raised in natural conditions. These are the conditions that they're supposed to be in and they don't have a lot of stress. But that doesn't mean I don't want you to brood baby chicks. Obviously that's what I'm doing right now. But there are some things that you can do to mitigate problems that happen when baby chicks experience stress. 
And guess what? I have a video all about what you can do in the first 24 hours to make sure that your baby chicks have the best start. All you have to do is click on this video right here. It's 100% friendly backyard chickens education and entertainment, and I know that you're gonna love it.